Hey, welcome to the wonderful world of Sweet Time 98's Mind, episode 18. I'm gonna be doing Hannah Montana in the movie. Uh, for you, for those who don't know, I am a big Hannah Montana fan, or Miley Cyrus, whichever one you want to put it. I like them both. And, um, I was pumped to see this movie. And I wasn't disappointed at all. I thought that. I thought I was going to be disappointed, but it's good. Okay. Uh, you probably know it starts out with uh, Miley just as Hannah doing this big uh, concert. She almost doesn't get into her own concert. She and Lily have to steal a golf cart. Anyhow, um, she gets in a shoot fight with Tyra Banks. There will be spoilers, by the way. Um, <clears throat> Shoe fight with Tyra Banks, and uh, yeah, she ends up somehow ruined. Yeah, she's uh, in her limo heading towards Lily's party. <clears throat> she realizes there's a reporter following her, and she realizes she cannot get out of the limo looking like Miley, and she can't get out, and she can't go to the party looking like Hannah. Now you got an iffy thing there. Now, I can think of many ways to avoid that situation there. Stop at a public bathroom. Stores tend to sneak out the back, but come out as Miley. Not difficult. But instead, what happens? You know, I guess it came out plenty of rush thinking. Uh, she makes a run for it. Well, her publicist blocks the report, and she ends up ruining Lily's party. And so. Oh, yeah, she missed saying goodbye to Jackson, who was going to college. And, uh, Bobby Ray's pissed. Robbie Ray, Robbie Ray is pissed. And because of the shoe fight, most of all. Where, you know, really wasn't as bad as it seems. It was just a shoe fight. Whatever. No one likes tire banks anyway. The rest of the stuff wasn't her fault, though. Anyhow, uh,. Instead of going to New York as she expected, Robbie takes her back to Tennessee because she's going to skip her grandmother's birthday. Now, any of you Hannah Montana fans, if you notice, um, both of her grandparent, her grandmother's names, both grandmothers, Mama and this one, uh, seem to be named Ruthie. If you catch that, pretty sure. Might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, by the way, any of you jerks out there that don't like Miley Cyrus or Hamilton, no need to tell me. I don't care if you like her. Just don't leave any of those bad comments. I will remove them, personally. Because I don't want that stuff on there. Anyhow, uh, <clears throat> Bobby takes her back home to Tennessee. And she has to, uh, gives her two weeks to in shape and choose either to stay as Hannah Montana or not. <clears throat> and she falls in love with her old friend, Travis. Who she meets when she's riding her horse, Blue Jeans. Yeah, her horse was named Blue Jeans. I don't get it either. It didn't make sense to me why she would name her horse Blue Jeans. But so, anyhow, she did. And, uh, uh, she falls in love with her old best, uh, best friend. And I guess the uh, town, Crowley County, is going downhill, I guess. They need money. And eventually, uh, she mentioned to Travis that she knew Hannah Montana. Somehow, Hannah is volunteered to do this, uh, this charity fund. Obviously, you know what's going to happen there. It's just going to be a mess. What happens is, um, they have Lily come to town in a limo, dressed as Hannah. No one actually gets a look at her face at the moment. Like she's just waving through a window. There's a window pulled up. I missed a couple minutes here and there after that. But, um, that, what I got to is that Lorelai, a girl that Robbie is, uh, falling in love with, I guess. Who, by the way, is played by the same one that plays Jan in The Office. All of you Office fans out there. Yeah. 
That's her. I think she's a hot chick too. I don't know. Anyhow, um, she need she wants Hannah to go to this dinner with the mayor of the town. This big thing, you know. Unfortunately, Miley makes a date with Travis that same night. Funny part, she makes the Hannah Montana date first, so I don't know why she can just change the date with Travis. I don't know, but she ends up messing everything up, and there's a swinging door, like a revolving door. Love those things. She's going through at the end. She's taking her wig off. At that moment, a little girl's coming in, and she sees her take the wig off, and so is Travis. He realizes the truth and gets mad. Eventually, she goes and she does a concert, and she sees Travis in the audience. She says, "I can't do this," and she takes the wig off and tells everyone who she really is. And but. All her fans wanted to stay as Hannah, so they will keep the secret because apparently there are no TV people. And uh, it's a great story. It's a great movie. I suggest it. I enjoyed it myself. That was really good. Uh, yeah. See it. It was good. YouTube, whatever. Uh. Although it doesn't really coincide with the show, because in the show she's dating Jake, but in the movie she dates Travis. I don't know. They, they didn't quite think that through. Um, bye. Guess that's it. Until next time.